Hey everyone, I have an indie brand to share with you today. And if you're not familiar with what an indie brand is, it's a person who's not part of a company and they hand mix their own nail polish. So they buy all of the bottles, they buy the glitter, the suspension base, which is what um, glitter stays in so it doesn't sink. If you've ever tried to make nail polish with um, a clear polish and glitter, you notice that it just kind of sinks to the bottom and it doesn't work everything like all the packaging everything is bought by them and they hand mix every batch of polish they figure out what goes together in different combinations and I don't do it so I don't know that much about it but I know that they work really hard to make these polishes and they are amazing so the indie brand that I have to show you today is Femme Fatale Lacquer so if you can't read it, don't worry about it. I just wanted to show you um, what the business card looked like because it was really cute and I really like the skulls and stuff. So I'll have all of this information like her shop and her Facebook and her Instagram. I'll have all of that in the description. So these polishes were sent to me for review. I did not purchase them and she was really nice to send me four mini polishes and then she sent me a full size polish that I really liked and I'm so glad that I have it because it is amazing and gorgeous and that is going to be the first one that I show you. So the first one is Lacey's Pumpkin Spice Latte. So Lacey's Pumpkin Spice Latte is a milky beige base with brown and orange hex glitters. The orange hex glitters are really tiny and then the brown hex glitters are larger and they also shine orange so it kind of blends in with the rest of the orange glitter and I think it's a really nice fall color. I am absolutely in love with it. So what I have on my nails with this polish is OPI Samoan Sand and I just have um, two coats of that and then I have one coat of the Pumpkin Spice Latte because Samoan Sand has a similar base color to Lacey's Pumpkin Spice Latte. So I wanted to make this last since it's an indie so I used a more popular brand underneath it. That was the full size one that I received and I absolutely love it. Um, application for this one, it was really good. You just have to um, move the glitters around a little bit. Like most glitter polishes, that's really typical if you've ever used like a chunky glitter. You have to like manually move it around your nail a little bit. But the orange glitter stays on your nail really well. It's just the brown ones. If you don't want them all in one spot, you will have to move them across your nail. But other than that, it was awesome. Now I'm going to start showing you the minis. Um, they're really tiny and super cute. I love them. I don't know what it is about mini polishes. They're just so fun. The first one that I have to show you is called Oops, I Broke the Christmas Tree. And Oops I Broke the Christmas Tree is in a clear base and it has red shreds, green hexes, white squares, silver bars, and gold hollow glitter. And the application for this one, <sighs> it was a little bit difficult um, to get some of the white squares out and it was also a little bit difficult to apply across the whole nail. I found that the base got a little bit too thick right away, like it dry, it started to dry really quick, um, which is a good thing, but it also makes it hard to move the glitters around to where you want it. But if you do one generous thick coat of it and don't do a thin coat like I did, I think that's what my problem was. But if you do like a nice generous thick coat over your nail, it will be a lot easier to apply. And for my swatch, I put Oops I Broke the Christmas Tree over two coats of Sinful Colors Tokyo Pearl. I thought it would look really cute with the Christmas, Christmas colored glitters over something pearly instead of just a white um, base color. But it did make it a little difficult to see the white square glitter which I think is probably the best part of this polish along with the holographic gold. If you want to see the square glitter, put it over something a little bit darker than a white polish or a pearl polish. The next polish that I have is called Sweet Victory. So this is a clear based polish with purple and pink shreds and gold and turquoise hex glitters. I really love this one. I really like all of the colors that are in it. And I really like the shredded look of glitter instead of just normal 
hex glitters. I think it's really unique and I really like how it's with other like hex glitters along with the shreds. It's just kind of like a unique mixture that I really find cool. I have this polish over two coats of China Glaze Light as Air. And I just wanted something that was a little bit more neutral just so the glitter would stand out. So that's why I chose Light as Air. And it's just kind of like a really light grayed out purple so it looked really nice underneath all of the bright glitter. And the application for this one was really good. You do have to move the glitter around a little bit but other than that it was really easy to apply. If you're not used to applying glitter polish you might think it's a little bit difficult but take your time make sure your base color is dry because that makes it a lot easier to move the glitter around because it doesn't smear and um, drag with your brush. So make sure your base color is dry and then apply your glitter and you shouldn't have any problems with it other than just to move it around a little bit. The next polish that I have is called Santa in the Sky and it is a gray base with red hex glitters, white squares, and navy blue glitters. The red hex glitters are larger and then the navy blue glitters are really small and then the white squares are about the same size as the red hex glitters. The application for this one was a little bit frustrating. The navy blue hex glitters, the little small ones, went on perfectly. They stayed exactly where they went as soon as they hit your nail but I had a lot of trouble trying to get the white squares and the red um, hex glitters out. A lot of them were on the bottom and so I stood my little polish upside down for a while hoping that they would sink and a lot of them did sink back to the top but I was still having a little bit of a hard time trying to get them out. Like I did get them out it just, it took a little while. I had to fish for them. But I really like how this polish looks. It's really unique. Really cute. I really like the gray base and I also really like the small blue hex glitters. And then the white and the white squares and the red hex are also cute too. But like I said, they are difficult to fish out of the polish. But if you have the patience to fish them out, um, I definitely recommend this one because it's super cute and I really like it. My swatch of this polish is one thick coat over two coats of China Glaze Recycle. Once again, I just wanted to make the indie last a little bit longer, so that's why I used a undercoat or an undercolor. But I just used Recycle because it was similar to the base color, the light gray base color. And the last one, which is called Visions of Sugar Plums. And oh my gosh, I absolutely love this one. At first I was like, I don't know if I like it. And then as soon as it hit my nail, I was like, oh my god, I love this one. I actually think I'm going to end up purchasing a full-size bottle of this because it's freaking awesome. So Visions of Sugar Plums has a milky base, and I can't really tell if it's white or if it's pink or purple. Um, the glitter kind of tricks your eye, so it does look a little bit of like a off-white color on either the pink or the purple side, but I think that's because of the glitter. But along with the milky base, it has pink shreds and purple glitter. So the pink shreds, they're all different sizes like triangles, little squares, it's just broken up pieces of glitter. And then the purple hex glitters are tiny. And this is jam-packed with the purple hex glitters and pink shreds. So it is super cute. So for my swatch, I have Visions of Sugar Plums over two coats of China Glaze Sweet Hook. This one was really easy to apply. I didn't have to fuss with the glitter much at all. It pretty much stayed there as soon as I put it on my nail. Uh, the pink shreds, I did have to move around a little bit, but um, it pretty much stayed where you put it as soon as it hit your nail. So I definitely recommend this one. So yeah, that was vision, Visions of Sugar Plums. So in conclusion, would I recommend this indie brand? Um, absolutely, I would recommend this indie brand. The polishes that I did receive to review were amazing. I think it's really cool that they're all hand mixed, so you're pretty much getting an original polish that 
not many other people have because indie brands usually sell like a limited number and they're not like mass produced so there's not like thousands and millions and however many polishes are made there's not that many made so you're pretty much getting an original polish so I totally recommend getting indie brands and especially Femme Fatale lacquer because these polishes are freaking awesome. So definitely go check out her store or her little shop on Big Cartel. So I'll have her web address right here and then I'll have the link to it in the description and go check out all the other polishes because these are not the only polishes that are in her shop. She has quite a few more that are all awesome, equally as awesome as the ones that I just showed you. So definitely go check them out. Go support her indie brand because she was super nice to allow me to review them for her and share them with you guys. So if you like these polishes, let her know because I'm sure she will love to hear all of your guys' feedback on what you think. And be nice. No trolls. Thank you so much for sending these. Um, I absolutely love them. I really appreciate it. Thank you for letting me share them with everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the indie polishes. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 <laughs>